Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of Gentlemen's Club Whiskey. I am your host, Mark Antimate, and in today's episode, I'm going to be conducting the review over the Maker's Mark Stave Profile Number 46, or just the Maker's Mark 46. So, inside the last video, I've already did a review over the standard Maker's Mark. As you can see, the seal has already been cracked. And I've already given the introduction over all of the Maker's Mark whiskeys, so to speak, inside of a just a introductory brand video. I'm going to go ahead and just take the top off this one. Crack this open for the first time and you guys know the routine. I'm going to turn off the camera, conduct my review, and then I'm going to come right back with my tasting notes. Got my Glen Kern in hand and... Um, what is it that I wanted to say? Yeah, highly looking forward to this one. I'm moving up the line here in terms of price and uh, recommend recommendability, I guess you could say. Really difficult getting the lid off of this one. It's a screw cap, but... Oh, wait a minute. This one is not screw cap. This one has some type of rubber type cork inside of there whereas the original one that I had this was a a screw cap whiskey so quite unique the change there I wasn't expecting that whatsoever I was wondering why it wasn't coming off and that would probably be the reason why Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey barrel finish with 10 French oak staves 94 proof 47 percent ABV and 750 milliliters. At Makers, we created a wood finishing series to explore unique expressions of our signature Makers Mark whiskey, originally crafted by my parents in 1953. Makers Mark 46 starts with fully matured Makers Mark. We then add 10 sheared, 10 seared French oak staves to each barrel and place it in our limestone cellar for an extra aging process. This creates a bolder version of Maker's Mark with pronounced notes of caramel and vanilla and has become a as stave profile number 46. Enjoy. All right, so I'm highly looking forward to that. If it's more of what I liked about the original one, then this might be the one for me. I'm going to go ahead and pour a good helping. 47% ABV. Who who knows how I'm going to get along with this one. And it's very hard getting this cap back inside, but I did it. All right, gentlemen, so I'm back. I've just conducted my review. As you can see, I drank a little bit out of the glass, but this one was not too difficult to assess. In fact, this one almost played like a tit for tat uh matching of the standard maker's mark just i guess you can add the word intense before and before all the tasting notes and that'll give you a hint of what it tastes like but to me it tastes almost exactly the same now i did not have these back to back uh this is a day after i had had the original maker's mark so i can't say with that much certainty but i'm pretty certain that this tastes almost exactly the same as that, just a lot more intense. So what I want to say is on the nose, it smells like new wood and it's very sharp and sweet. The sharpness goes away quite quick. I mean, you just let it sit for about five minutes and that sharpness in the nose is going to go away. It's just a little bit of ethanol. You know, you do your standard blow, you swirl it around a little bit and it'll be gone in no time. On the palate, mm. intense sweet caramel and vanilla, buried fruits. Mm. The finish is uh, quite quick and smooth, 
And uh, I also want to say that this has a fruity aftertaste just like the original one does. So again, not too much of a difference inside of there. Let me just go ahead and finish this off before I close out this video. I think I can maybe safely say this is not definite until I do a head to head comparison with them in a simultaneous tasting session. But I think at this point in time, it's safe to say that I do prefer the 46 just a little bit more than I do the standard maker's mark since it is just everything being upped just ever so slightly. Next one up, if you stay tuned for the next video, I'm going to review the Maker's Mark private selection and there's so many different variations of this one. I have a very special one that's uh, made for the Japanese market uh, by a Japanese supermarket called Eon. This is their stave selection so we'll see how this fares against the other two. Anyways, I thank you all for watching, gentlemen. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. Make sure that you drink responsibly. And as always, gentlemen, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy. Mm -hmm.